What's up guys? Welcome to Run My Crypto. Today I'm going to be talking about if you had one shot to make $100,000 in crypto, building a crypto portfolio, and you knew you only had 10 to 12 months to do it, what would be your route? Would you want to do it? Would you take the time to actually put the work in, to invest, to find those projects that are going to 10x, 20x, 30x? And would you sacrifice your time, your money, and your effort to make something like that happen? Now, we know 100 grand isn't going to change your life from one extreme to the other, but it will put you in the right foot forward to be able to build a dream that you had, to be able to build a business that you always wanted, and provide you with more opportunity to invest in different different sectors as gold, um, stocks, scale out what your effort and time um, gave you a return on investment. Scale that out, start an e-com business, Something that'll take you from doing the same thing that you do over and over. Get up early in the morning, go work 8, 10, 12 hours. Or some people even get up late at night and work overnight 10 to 12 hours. The same thing over and over again. So, are you willing to put in that work? Are you willing to put in that effort? Just to try to give yourself uh, and your family or whatever your situation is. Um, just put yourself in a better place. Like I said, a hundred grand, fifty grand, that could do a lot for a lot of people. But you just got to be able to understand what you're investing in, believe in what you're investing in, and believe that you are going to receive a return on your investment. All right, guys. Again, this is Run My Crypto. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. All right, guys, let's get into it. So <clears throat> looking at Bitcoin, we are going to look at Bitcoin as a just a, a example of a, an investment. Right. So. Here's what I'm trying to get you guys to understand when investing in a crypto project. Right now we're looking at projects which are called high market cap projects. And I chose Bitcoin as the number one because obviously it's sitting at the highest market cap evaluation that there is in crypto. The current market cap for Bitcoin is $499 billion. Call it $500 billion. <laughs> But anyway, so here's what I'm trying to show you guys. So say if you were to invest into one Bitcoin, that's going to be about 20, 25 grand, call it. So now <clears throat> they're in a bearish market, which we're in right now. Well, we're kind of going sideways from a little bit out of the bear market. But if you were to buy one Bitcoin at $25,000, and Bitcoin goes into a bull market, which we are anticipating to happen within the next 10 to 12 months. Bitcoin reaches its previous all-time high of $65,000. That would give you a return on investment of $25,000 investing in to back to the all-time high, 65K. That would give you a 40 grand profit, right? and you would take profits at that point that would be your target to take profits now would i take the whole 40k no i would probably take 20k and leave the rest to ride out and see if we could go beyond that all-time high which i do believe is significantly possible so you would take your initial investment or 20 grand of your initial investment and see if you could continue to ride out that remaining uh, value of what you got in your your investment to to make some more gains but what I'm saying is 25k right if you invested reach its previous all-time high in the bull market 
in the bull cycle, you would make essentially 40k off of that. Okay? So that's what I'm trying to show you guys. What your return on investments would look like buying one Bitcoin. And now that's a ton of money. Some people might not have that. Some people may have more than that. But just to keep things simple, what it would look like if you were to invest in Bitcoin. So let's look at Ethereum per se. So let's say you did have 25,000 that you were gonna invest in, but instead of buying one Bitcoin, you wanted to put that 25,000 into one Ethereum, or into Ethereum, sorry. So currently Ethereum is sitting at $1,813 per token or per coin. $217 million billion dollar market cap. So say you put the 25 grand in there, that would give you roughly about 13 ETH or so. So you have 13 Ethereum tokens. Now, investing in that, holding that, and if Ethereum reaches its all-time previous all-time high, which was roughly about 4,700 or so, right there if you had 13 ethereum that would put you at a forty thousand dollar profit right so are you you catching my riff these high market caps are safe right saying that you would invest the same money into bitcoin 25k 25k into ethereum you would gain the same in your your same returns on investment if and when these tokens or these coins reach their previous all-time highs all right so that's an example of the top two tokens utilizing the same amount right so you could either buy one bitcoin and gain forty thousand dollars off of it reaching its previous all-time high or you can invest twenty some thousand into ethereum and it reaching its same all-time high giving you the same return on investment for each token for each coin so like 25k one bitcoin 40 grand 25k and 13 ethereum 40 grand it's a safe play all right so that's what i'm trying to get you guys to understand these are safer plays right but reaching their all-time highs that's without a doubt they can get back to their all-time highs very easily and you guys got to understand we're early <clears throat> if you look at look at the crypto market and compare it to the stock market the stock market goes back way when and there's nothing but upward momentum crypto's the same way crypto's the same investment strategy that you're doing as investing in regular stock markets but the thing is is that crypto is a fast reactor crypto is so volatile that you could get stupid gains in a short period of time and that's the difference that's what separates crypto from all these other markets but this is early guys and who knows how many opportunities you're going to get to invest in crypto with these type of volatile gains that are available so that's the thing that you guys have to understand with crypto once this thing gets fully regulated once all these uh big monies involved all these big in investors and institutional monies in it it's gonna start looking like the stock market but i do believe that there's enough um there's enough scaling behind crypto that it will be the bigger of all these other investments like <clears throat> crypto is so scalable and with web3 technology and the way that we're utilizing crypto it's uh it's gonna it's gonna be big guys so make sure that you guys understand when you're investing in projects and what they are what they're what they're about understand what utilities they have behind them is there a purpose is there a meaning behind them that's what you need to look after and go after 
All right, let's look at another coin. Let's look at BNB. I wanted to pull this up because this is our number four crypto. Um, this is a high market cap, but uh, not quite as high as uh, Ethereum or Bitcoin. But this market cap is sitting at about $43 billion. Um, current price is 276 per token or per coin. Um, so let's look at if we put 25 grand into uh, BNB at $276. That'd give you roughly about 90 coins. So 90 BNB uh, cryptos. Now, if we took our 90 BNB tokens that we invested 25 grand in, and we take it to our all-time high of, uh, what is it, sitting at roughly about 600 and, what is that, Six, 670, 670 bucks. So we had about 90 BNB, 670 bucks. That's roughly about 50, 60 grand. All right. And even if we came back to the second peak, which was about 650, that's about 58 grand. So you see, <clears throat> as, as the plays get a little bit riskier, as the price starts to dip down from these tokens, you could see that the risk your risk is a little bit higher, but your return, well, your returns are a little bit more, obviously, right? So if you invested 25 grand into BNB with 90 BNB tokens, and we test retest our all-time high of six 670 bucks, you're looking at making about fifty-eight thousand dollars as a return on your investment. Now this this is not a guarantee guys so that's one thing you have to understand is that these none of these tokens are guaranteed to reach their all-time high but it has been proven time after time that they do some of them do depends on the massive amount like the depends on the project you know they're there's projects out there that are sustainable there's projects that are robust like bnb i mean i know right now i just i think i learned today that sec is going to start coming after bnb next but xrp is going to lead the way where you know all these cryptos that they're trying to identify as securities is just it's insane but you know what the sec's got to make their money right they're going to do what they need to do to get their money, but it is what it is. Hopefully, uh, Binance could, could muscle through that like XRP and, you know, just collect their money and move on. <clears throat> Elon Musk himself um, went up against the SEC, had to pay out in order to get, uh, you know, return to business as usual. And that's what's going to happen. You know what? That's what's going to happen, guys. So that's just a little example of the higher market cap um, possibilities. Obviously, if you don't got twenty-five thousand dollars to invest in, you got more like five or ten grand. Well, let me show you some uh, opportunities with five or ten grand. All right, stay tuned. Let's let's jump into this one. All right, guys. So let's say you only had about five grand, right? So looking at five grand investment into Solana. So if you were to currently buy five grand or put five invest five grand into Solana at sitting at nineteen dollars and ninety six cents today, and Solana would retest its all time high of two hundred and forty nine dollars, that would roughly get you about uh, sixty two grand off of a five thousand dollar investment. Okay. So that's what I'm trying to tell you. It doesn't take hundreds of thousands of dollars to make some good money. But if you did five grand into Solana, right? And you had another five grand that you could put in, say a project like Chainlink, and you bought Chainlink at $6.04, that would give you roughly about 827 Chainlink. 
and it would retest its all-time high of roughly $49, $5,000, $6 a token or coin and we retested all-time high of $49 that would put you about 40k so just think about it <clears throat> I mean these are the things that you need to look at um, they simplify stuff right we know that Chainlink is a solid project we know that Solana is a solid project and if you really do your homework on Solana and Chainlink you could see that these are gonna be scaling out they're they're they've been around you know Chainlink goes back to 2017 Solana goes back to roughly what 20 2020 or so I mean these projects are, are solid they're not going nowhere there's too much too much potential too much uh, too much in them so so that's kind of what I'm trying to get you guys to understand is like you know 5,000 may be a lot to some people uh, 25,000 may be way a lot way more for some people but you don't have to put in five thousand dollars all at once that's what I'm trying to get at. So there's this thing called dollar cost averaging, right? Take $5,000 for example, right? And divide that up by 10 months. That's $500 a month. I know people that spend more than $500 a month on beers with their friends excessive eating out to fancy restaurants um, buying a cup of coffee every day especially if you love Dutch Bros or Starbucks or something like that and you guys are spending like five bucks a, for a coffee you know daily you know because it becomes habit that's the thing you know buying stuff that you know as a consumer is where money just goes I mean, if you were to take a look at your bank statements and see where your money's actually going, we don't we don't take into consideration. Sometimes we just splurge spend, you know, instead of wanting those things that, you know, you don't need or there's extra things that you can look at and turn that money into investing. The the best thing to do and to understand is how to manage your money and and think about if you're doing the right things with your money if you're gonna buy a cup of coffee there is no return on investment for that now I'm not a financial advisor so don't take financial advice from me but I'm trying to say that there's a lot of things that we spend money on that we can take that and actually put into something that's gonna give us some gain that's gonna be beneficial so $500 a month, $250 if you get paid bi-weekly to invest in crypto market for the next 10 months. Knowing that you put in five grand and made 48,000, 50,000, 60,000, just depending on what project you pick. Or say you have some extra time. You want to do some Ubering or, you know, some Instacart or whatever extra things you can do. Build a little Shopify store, sell one product, drop shipping. It costs a little bit, but not a, not a whole lot to get a drop shipping store going. E-commerce, uh, cutting your neighbor's grass, <laughs> cleaning your neighbor's house. I don't know. There's so many things that you could do to make a little bit of extra money. Start recycling. If you have a lot of aluminum and you recycle, there's a lot of things you could do to make extra money to get yourself to that 5K or that 10K or that 25K where you can make some potential gains. Let's look at if we put $25,000 into Solana, right? So if we invested 25 grand in the Solana sitting at $19 in well it's going to be 20 pretty soon $20 a token, right? 
that would gain us if we retested the all-time high it'd be if you put 25 grand into Solana right now it'd probably give you about call it 12 1250 tokens and we retested the all-time high of $247 that would get you 300 grand see what I'm saying 300 grand that would take that would take you to the next level definitely for sure let me actually do the math on that because I was kind of like in my head a little bit <laughs> so 25 grand <laughs> and we bought Solana at let's call it $20 yeah, 1,250 tokens. Retested the all-time high of about 250, 249. Call it. Your ROI is 311 grand. That's the type of shit I'm talking about, guys. Think about it. And these are not even low market caps. You could get creative. You could drop down. You could drop down to these low low market caps. I mean, you got got massive potential down here people you got AI narrative coins that are coming up I mean there are so many coins that you can invest in this project right here I'm I'm going all in on this one this thing start this thing banged out look this this coin came out banged out at a price of like dollar something dollar fifty we're we're down. We're, I'm almost at buying level. I've been waiting for an entry level for this token. I'm gonna watch it to see if we get if if we get reach these 70, 50 cents. This project's gonna blow. This project has a lot of potential, huge potential. This is like your next. This is your next Solana, your next Ethereum. I think there's a lot of lot of opportunity with this project right now. Mark cap sitting at 490 million. Come on, come on, somebody. Put 25 grand in that. This thing goes to five, ten dollars. Where you at? Where you at, people? And this is what I'm trying to say. And this is how I'm trying to help you out. And you know, hopefully, you guys got something out of this video. Uh, I'm gonna ask you if you watched all the way to the end. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Much love to you. Many blessings to you. I hope you guys kill it on this crypto journey. Um, you know, drop me some comments, anything that questions you may have or anything like that. Um, I'm setting up a little um, a little program to do some one on ones coming up pretty soon. If you guys are interested, you'll be seeing that pretty soon. And just trying to educate you guys as much as I possibly can. So if you love this video, like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Be blessed, you guys. Make big money. Let's go to the moon together.